All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a roof on here and put a little bit of fascia on it. Okay, so to put a roof on, we're going to go to the roof plan. And we're going to put a roof around the edge of the steel beams. So we're going to go to architecture and roof and roof by footprint. And right now it's set to generic four inch glazing. I'm just going to go to the pull down here and I'm going to pick the generic 12 inch white just for expedience. Now I'm going to go to edit type and I'm going to duplicate that type and I'm going to rename it generic 280 millimeter roof because that's how thick our roof is. And to change the thickness of that roof I'm going to go to edit and I'll change this to 280. Click OK and the edit under structure updates the thickness to 280 and I click OK and now it's re we're ready to draw the outline of that roof. So <clears throat> I'm going to use the rectangle option and pick, pick it right here in the draw panel. And I'm going to left click on the top left corner of the steel beams and left click on the bottom. I could lock these to the edges of those steel beams if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave them unlocked for right now. And then I'm going to hit the big green check. And if I go to my level one and double click on my section, we can see that we now have a roof, right? That's sitting above those steel beams and the joists. Um, we're going to update all of the floor and wall and roof layers at a later time. So we'll do that. If I go to the 3D view, you can see there's my roof. Also, I have the floor hidden, so I can come into my sh Reveal Hidden Elements and pick that floor, right click on it, and go to Unhide and View Category, and turn it back on, and that's what we have at this point. Now, <clears throat> the roof has some fascia that goes around the edge of it that's a steel fascia. So, Revit has a command under architecture and the roof pull down called fascia. And if I select the fascia, I can select from from a family called fascia flat 1 by 12. And if I come over here and pick on the top of this roof, it will place a fascia on there. So I can go around and place fascia around the edge of this roof. Now, if I go back to my section and take a look at that fascia, it's a little long, like we'd like it to hit about at the top right there of the roof, or sorry, at the bottom of the roof. And it's because it's a one by 12 and we're working in millimeters and it's a little different. So in a perfect world, you could pick that fascia and you could go to edit type and you could adjust the height, but there is no height. It's because the size of this is actually being controlled by this profile. So we need to actually change, make a new profile and select it to be in this family. So in order to do that, I need to go to my project browser and scroll down to my profiles. And if I expand my profiles, you'll see fascia flat. And if I expand fascia flat, there's several different fascia types in there. And I'm just going to double click on one by 12. And that's going to bring up the type properties of that, just like when we went to edit type in the roof. And we want to duplicate this. <clears throat> or actually, we could, if we wanted to, we could just rename it and it would update all of the ones that we had placed on there. So let's do that. So I'm going to rename the one by 12 and I'm going to rename it to 280 millimeters to correspond with the roof. And then I'm going to change the height of it to 280 millimeters and I'm going to change the thickness of it to 20. And I'll click OK. And now you'll see that all of those have updated to the new fascia size. Now if I wanted to, I could have created a new one by duplicating. And if I go to edit type now, you'll see that this type is still called fascia flat 1 by 12. 
I'm going to rename it and call it fascia flat 280 millimeters. So basically we have a profile that's called fascia 280 millimeters that has been applied to the fascia flat family, right? So you can see here we have fascia flat 280 millimeters, fascia flat 180 right and so you can create new families and set new profiles based on what you create all right so back in 3d here we are we can also pick this guy go to edit type and we can put just a basic white we'll put like white column on there so on the material And click OK and click OK and now everything is sort of a uniform white color. All right so that finishes up <clears throat> doing the structure in the roof. I'm going to come back and talk a little bit about how you might make a truss with this guy um, if you wanted to do that. All right.